Hello everyone, quick unboxing and first impressions. Uh, this was sent to me by uh, one of my regular viewers and uh, contributor of blades and items to be reviewed. Uh, so once again, thank you Chaosism for uh, supplying these. Uh, these are of course his, um, I'm just going to be sending them to him after I'm done with the review. This is from SGT Blades, and if I'm not mistaken, there are going to be two items here. i make sure I open up this box correctly. Um, there's going to be two items. They're both faders. Let's see if I can get to them. And uh, there's not really a big difference between the two besides my understanding is the way the grip is done on one of them. So I'm going to pull this out. Get these out one at a time here. Yeah, here we go. Now, I've never actually, just throwing that back there, I've never actually um, had an uh, opportunity to really look at anything from SGT Blades. So this is actually going to be a first time there. Um, so let's see here. I believe the design is roughly the same. Like I said, just the handle is different. Okay. So this is the newer design. And I'll talk about it in a moment. Let's get this other one open. And here is number two. All right, so let's see here. Make sure I understand. This is kind of nice. Uh, they actually included uh, specs on the blade on this little uh, card here. It tells you what the flex is, what the weight is. A lot of good information. This one says it's a standard fader type. And uh, this is also a standard fader. Now, this one, the grip is made with a pretty kind of typical leather-ish wrapping. Um, so nothing too uh, unexpected there. It's a nice light fader. Going to pay more attention to the fader aspect in a moment. <clears throat> but I really want to talk about the, the grip here. This is a slightly different type of grip. My understanding is this is something that they're kind of testing out and trying out. It's supposed to be very, very rugged, uh, can take a little bit of beating, um, can handle the wear uh, extremely well. And these faders have uh, kind of a nice thick tip here. Um, I'm becoming more and more a fan of this design. And it's got a pretty good flex, as you can see springs back nicely and yes it is extremely light now of course this is a first impression review um, so it's really hard to give a lot of thoughts on a fader in a first impression because I need to really spend time with it I'm actually doing an unboxing the day before HEMA practice so I'll be taking it there to practice tomorrow and uh, giving these a little bit of a try out uh, I'm not going to put them too much through their paces because uh, as I said these are not mine um, I don't want to completely damage them for the owner, uh, but I'm going to be spending time with them at least in drills and seeing how they feel, and I probably will put them up against some mild, pra mild practice. Um, and uh, I will, of course, do a full review of these. I'll probably do them as a pair and really only speak uh, specifically to the grips as the real difference between the two. Um, what's amazing about this, the weight on this says that it's uh, three pounds, nine ounces. That feels really light for three pounds, nine ounces. Um, extremely, extremely light. No surprise that the balance point is right at the shilt. And it's got a very, very long grip handle. Now, there's been a lot of discussions recently about the, the length of a fader. So, you can see this one comes up to about my chest. It's actually probably a little bit taller than my armpit, which is... Usually about what I look for for a long sword design is to be right around my armpit. This one's a little bit longer, and honestly, longer faders doesn't really surprise me. A lot of faders are designed a little bit longer. Uh, it's got a nice, thick, blunt edge, and it's all really, I mean, it's its quite simple in its design, um, but that's kind of, I mean, it's by design, it's a fader. It's meant to really act as a training tool. Uh, it does look like it has a peen on it, so it's a peen uh, construction instead of a, a, a nut-style construction. 
And yeah, I mean, it's a simple blade, um, but it's a light sword. Feels really good in the hand. Uh, even one-handed, uh, with just a single hand, normally this would feel very odd, but it actually feels pretty light. Uh, a lot of a lot of pretty good control over it. I'm in a very confined space here, like I said, so it's kind of hard to really get a, a, a real good first impression uh, simply in a video. Uh, but yeah, the construction looks nice. A very, very good uh, fitting job. Everything is very tightly constructed. It looks like the Schilt design actually sits on top of the cross guard here, which is actually a little bit different. A lot of times you actually have uh, the shoulders of the blade as it goes down into the tang actually go down partially into the cross, but that's not what it looks like is happening here, at least as much as I can tell. But it is a nice, clean fitting, um, and everything looks real basic and simple and quite functional. This wrapping looks, um, it looks an awful lot, lot like medical gauzing or uh, medical bandages in terms of its design. I think it's and I'll have to go look up the information because I don't have it off the top of my head. Um, but it looks almost like a Kevlar-ish type material. So I'll have to find out exactly what this material is and, uh, and make sure that I cover that in a review for these. Uh, I'm going to try to expedite the review for this. Like I said, I need to get this to its proper owner. Um, and it's unfortunate because I'm traveling next week. So I'm not going to have a chance to really work on it until probably week out. And I need to spend time with it, so I need to get at least two Saturdays in, uh, just kind of working with them. Um, but I hope to have a review pretty soon for these. Very nice faders. No matter which one you were, would decide to go with, whether you went with this new handle design, this new grip material, or a nice leather one, they both feel good. Honestly, I'm already more a fan of this grip design. It's a lot rougher on the hands, but it feels like it would never come apart, which is something you would really want. So very interesting uh i'm i'm really looking forward to getting a chance to review these again these are faders from sgt blades and uh yeah i'll make sure to link the website below in the description so you can check it out um we'll see what i think uh, in a couple of weeks see you guys later